Hey YouTube, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how I made this ring out of a quarter. Uh, if you would like the quarter centering tool or other rings I've made, you can find them on Macari, uh, which I'll have a link for in the description. If you're not signed up for Macari yet, um, you can sign up through my referral link, which will be the first link in the description. It'll give you a $10 coupon off your first purchase. Um, so that should help you get one of these rings if you want one, or that centering tool. All right, let's get into the process. Uh, if you like the video, subscribe, like, comment, let me know what you think. All right, let's get into it. Okay, um, so the first step in making a coin ring is punching a hole in your coin. And to do that, you use a punch and die kit, which I got from Harbor Freight. And what you usually do is you put your quarter in here in the slot, then you use the punch, punch a hole in it. But it's pretty difficult to get the quarter perfectly centered, so I sketched this up and 3D printed it out so the quarter fits perfectly in this part and then on the back side it's got a perfect hole for this die punch and I can slide this in the punch and die kit align everything up and that'll give me a perfect hole right in there now I got a punch this through with a hammer and it's pretty loud sometimes it takes a while not so bad you can see the center of the coins kind of moved out what I do after that is I go up to my uh, Press, which I'll do uh, right now. Your punch through your quarter, it gets pretty sticky, and you can push it through a little further, but um, what I like to do is put it on my press, and then get a uh, punch, my punch and die kit that's a little smaller, and I'll put that on top of it, and then push it out this and that gets the uh, center of the quarter out nice and easy and it also gets the punch out without too much trouble and now we should have a nice hole let me pull this out in our quarter right in the middle and that is step one and after that I like to uh, deburr the quarter over a trash can but this thing um, it's gonna be kind of hard to film that uh, but I'll do my best all right so I've got my freshly uh, punched quarter here Got my deburring tool, and I'm gonna try and line this up. See, it's really tough to show you guys what I'm doing because my hands get in the way. Um, but I just get rid of all the rough edges with this. And this is gonna prevent the coin from you know, cracking when I start stretching and bending it. When I watch a lot of these uh, coin making YouTube videos, they're always saying you need to anneal your coin uh, to make it easier to work with. So far, every coin ring I've made, I haven't annealed uh, just because I don't like having fire in the house. Um, so I really try and make sure all my surfaces are nice and smooth so I don't give them any chance to start cracking. And like after every bend, I'll either sand it really nicely or use this deburring tool as my favorite tool. And I'm sorry if that was just a bunch of my hands. Uh, it's 
spinning around, but basically you want to try and get all the rough edges off the inside of the coin. And that's what I've done here. And now I'm going to do my first initial uh, fold. All right. Um, now that we've got our coin with the center punched in it and it's nice and smooth on the inside, we're going to do the first fold. And when we fold it, we want the side that's going to be on the outside of the ring facing down. And this is a Indiana quarter, so I'm going to go ahead and want to put that facing down on this curving block, which is just like half a circle, a big chunk of metal. And this comes with the curving blocks. Uh, there's a bunch of these like ball bearings on sticks. And you're just going to slide that on top there. Make sure the coin is as level as it can be. See, you can get the coin to kind of lip out a little bit when you do this. So what I do is I push on it in at least three different directions to make sure that it's nice and flat. Hard to do with one hand. Uh, but yeah, I'll slide this on top and then push on like three quadrants of the quarter. Make sure it's nice and flat. Line everything up, make sure it's good briefly lock it in place with this and then get that first bend so that's our first fold and I'll go ahead and deburr this one more time right Let's see here so since it's been folded, it's hard to get the inside edge deburred. The more you fold it, the harder it is to get that. So you want to try and get as much of it as you can right now, where it's as smooth as you can get it, along with the outside of the coin as well. Just really want that to be nice and smooth and get rid of any imperfections or cracks that have creeped in on that initial fold. And this is going to make the coin look real nice and shiny on that edge and nice and uniform. Nice and shiny. Okay, so when I first started making these rings, my next step would be to put them on this mandrel and Hit them with this nylon hammer all the way down, bending and shaping them. And it was a lot of work and it hurt my hands a lot. And as you can see, the hole I cut is just too small to fit on the mandrel. So even getting it started was a lot of work. It would just slip and move around. Um, so now that I've got a couple other tools, I do a second bend on this to make that hole a little bigger and that's what I'm gonna do right now okay so this is uh, really cool if you're making rings out of quarters I highly suggest you get something like this it's a 17 degree uh, reduction die with um, it's like one inch on one side and uh, 0.1 inch on the other side which just means it's it's a little smaller on this side than it is on this side there's a bigger hole but both of them have a 17 degree uh, reduction angle. And that's really good for reducing coins and shaping coins. And I use it for my second fold to make this hole just a little bigger so it'll fit on my mandrel. Uh, and to do that, I have to move a cup for this part. I take um, a smaller one of these on this reduction die and I push on it just a little bit to make that hole a little bigger. And you wanna make sure this is as, centers, as centered as you can get it. You wanna do just a nice, even little bit of pressure to just reshape that hole. It's a little bit bigger. So it'll stay on your mandrel when you start. Now that we can start it on the 
handle. This is my secret weapon right here. This is a three quarter inch PVC pipe with a cap and tape on it to keep it from cracking because it did crack once before so I reinforced it with some pretty tough tape and what I do is I take this end and I slide it on the end of my mandrel and I hit it with a hammer. I'll show you that. So for this part I use a notebook, a hammer, a mandrel with a coin on it, and my three quarter inch PVC pipe. Make sure the coin is nice and lined up on there. Put the PVC pipe on top of it, like that. Man, it's really hard to film this. Let me try and get a better, okay. Got this camera on a little higher box. Okay, so I set that up straight on the notebook just to kind of decrease the impacting. And then, God, you still can't see the hammer. Well, I'm gonna hammer on the top of this. see it started to shape the ring it's moved it down the mandrel quite a bit it's still flared out on the end okay there's still a gap there uh, I've seen a lot of videos where people tell you to just keep going all the way until that gap is closed I don't worry about it too much because when I flip it around it's gonna stretch the whole ring that way so it's not that big a deal to get it off the mandrel take my nylon hammer and I hit the ring to break it loose. Until it falls off. I turn the ring over, put it on the other way, put the PVC pipe back on, hit it with a metal, metal hammer. I usually move it down to about a size nine, nine and a half. I take my nylon hammer and I hit it until the ring comes off. And this is my least favorite part because sometimes it comes right off. Sometimes you really got to bang on it for a while. Ah, nice. Okay, so now you can see the ring is starting to shake, take form. We've got it pretty well folded over. And what we're gonna do is clean it up and sand it and start uh, reshaping it with the dies. Do that right now. There we go. Getting there. Okay, now I'm going to use nail file, the finest side, and I'm just going to sand it just a little bit just to try and even up that side, make it nice and smooth, get rid of any weird cracks that might come up and I'm stretching it. smooth and even now we're gonna clean it off and I just do this with a random like extra rag we've got lying around and just try and get any anything off of that coin just make it nice and shiny it doesn't take a whole lot of effort sorry this is just a bunch of my knuckles but I just try and get any off the inside and outside the sand from the 
file I just put on it. Try and get that off of there. It's looking pretty good. So now what I'll do is, um, it's not quite flat. Like you can see this side's a little fatter than that side. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to deburr the inner lip right here first. I'm going to cut that away a bit. And then I'm going to fold the fat side uh, to try and meet and even up with the cut side. Deburr this. Inside the lip. We'll just, yeah, just reduce that inside lip just a little bit. reduction die on the, the side that has the the one inch hole and you can see that it's just barely sticking out of there I'm gonna push that down as much as I can in there gone down it's getting closer to even but it's not quite even yet still just a, a little fatter so I'm gonna sand it a little bit because it got kind of scratched up when I pushed it this die over and put that quarter in there like that okay and sometimes this doesn't really want to move right here this is a real sticking point because it's gone as far as I can get it on the other side of the die but it doesn't quite want to start on this one uh, so what I'll use sometimes is chapstick and I'll just put that on this outside edge here and you don't have to use a ton but I think it helps get started and I'll tap on it a couple times trying to make sure it's as centered as it's gonna be and really side a ton. Uh, mistakes happen. All I gotta do is put it back on this mandrel, stretch it out a little bit more. Up and down, up and down. Oh. 
My chapstick may have helped a little too much. not even so we'll try even it up with the nylon hammer real quick try and flatten this out somehow. So not every ring comes out perfect. Um, this one is coming out a little wobbly, not very even, and I'm gonna have to reduce the fat side even more to make it even out with the cut side. looking pretty even. Let's see what size it is. So it's a size 8. 
It's not bad. Perfect eight. And we'll go ahead and sand it again. And then clean it off. And I think that's about that's about done. Not too shabby, not perfect. I mean it's definitely fatter on one side than the other. And all you're seeing is my knuckles. Um, Alright, so I'm gonna sand this in. Alright, so we've got the ring pretty even. Uh, it's still a little fatter on one side, but I think it looks okay. But I do want to clean up this rougher cut edge. Alright, so I'm gonna get this nail file. I'm gonna use a bit of a rougher side of that file. Go up and down. Rotate the ring a couple times to try and get a nice even edge, nice and smooth. Now I'll flip it over to that softer little frame. And I use this file because I tried sandpaper and it just tears up too easy. Like this lasts much longer, and I'm able to get a nice even shine. Looks a lot better. I'll just clean that with the rag a little bit. All right, uh, so that wasn't the smoothest ring I've ever made, but I was trying to create a, my first walkthrough video of how to do this. And this is the finished product. You can see a lot of uh, details. Maybe stars came out really nice. It's pretty cool. You got that inside edge, it's very nice and shiny. A lot of the lettering is still maintained. You can see uh, United States of America on the inside there. It's pretty cool. Um, so that's how I make uh, coin rings right now. Uh, thanks for watching.